season 10 of the Fish Report, things are gonna get real. Welcome back to this week's Fish Report. I'm head coach Dan Fisher, joined by the Hawaiians, Lexus and Kamalani. Welcome back. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Yeah, so um, my name is Lexus Akeo. I am a fourth year senior on the volleyball team, um, and I'm graduating with my degree in accounting. And I'm a setter, yep. My name's Kamalani Akeo. I'm Lexus's older sister. Uh, I played here for four years at Pitt, and now I am the director of operations going into my second year. Ooh. Second year on staff, but sixth year total living in Pittsburgh. Obviously, these two have spent a lot of time in our program and, it's, uh, and know a lot about what's going on with our team. You know, we had a big weekend, two great road wins. You know, why don't you tell us a little bit about the player perspective, um, what it was like to be on the court this weekend? Yeah, I mean, it's always a little challenging being on the road. Um, Wake Forest and Virginia Tech are are very good teams uh, and I think we just focused on getting ourselves better and focus on the small things and that's what led us to have like not only just wins but like su successful wins. Yeah and so one of the things you do for us as the director of ops is you're you do a lot of video and work with statistics a lot and so what kind of did anything jump out at you statistically from this weekend? Yeah we uh, we actually went in with a couple goals of hitting over 300 and keeping our opponents to a low clip and we accomplished both of those hitting over 300 on the weekend and then keeping our our opponents to under 100 so it yeah. was a good weekend for us statistically. Yeah for sure and and so we are going on the road again. We're gonna be at Syracuse and Boston College. You know, Syracuse clearly has one of the best players in the country. Boston College is coming off a two big win, big win, so they're hot. But for you two, is there something, is there any added motivation with the Syracuse game? Uh, there is a familiar face uh, across the net. Our uh, oldest sister, Leslie Kale, is an assistant coach on Syracuse. So mm -hmm. this will be a t first time for us playing each other. Mm -hmm. It'll be very different. She uh, she coached me all my club years in high school, so she was like on my side of, of the court, and now it's me and Kamalani against her, I guess. And it turns out the sisters are pretty uh, competitive with each other. Okay, so this will be a fun one. So two big games to, to keep in mind. We have senior night against Syracuse next Friday, and then of course, you know, we're, we're eyeing the, the big home game against Georgia Tech in the Peterson Event Center. We want to have a great crowd. It'll be the day before Thanksgiving, so mark your calendars for both of those. Mm -hmm. Girls, are we ready for the real quick questions? Mm -hmm. We're ready. Let's do it. Lexus, favorite thing to do in Pittsburgh? Explore the city. Explore the city. Mm -hmm. Mama? Uh, I like to hit the good coffee shops in the city. Who has the hardest job? Athlete, director of ops, assistant coach. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's tough. That's tough to say. I probably would say assistant coach, just because it's pretty stressful trying to <laughs> trying to manage people um, and also like trying to win games every weekend. I'll say the same, especially the situation. Really? What? Just think of sister. More more stressful than being a player. <laughs> I think I put the stress on myself. Okay, most used apps on your phone? iBooks. I would say Outlook or Instagram. So final question, what are you most grateful for? Probably my family and the people here in Pittsburgh. Uh, I would have to say the same. My family, and not only the ones from home, but the ones here at Pitt. Well, thank you both for all the work you've both done, and thanks for being on this week's Fish Report. Thanks, thanks Fish. Us.